So let's get started with REST API testing. First of all, we should know what REST API is. Okay, so this is like uh, some definition it was given in Google, like REST API defines a set of operations where developer can perform a request and receive response via HTTP protocol. So here, this is what the architecture of uh, REST, REST API, how it works, request goes to server, then server sends some response. So before explaining this is in detail, what I'll do, I'll tell you some real time example, okay. For that, uh, I have one, huh, suppose, suppose there is a guy, okay. okay. This guy want to book a ticket, book an IRCTC ticket, ticket to go somewhere. But this guy is finding like uh, IRCTC ticket counter is too far. And if, if they'll go, that guy will go wait for two, three hours to get one ticket and come back. It will take like whole day. This guy will be wasting. So instead of, instead of going to counter, what this guy thought, like there is like nearby one IRCTC agent is there, there. So why, why should I not utilize that guy? By that, I can save my traveling expense. Just simply, I'll give 5, 10 rupees extra. This guy will book the ticket. Look at. So just, it will take 5, 10 rupees and whole day I'll be saving. I can utilize those times to do my other works. Okay. So IRCTC has given some facility in the form of IRCTC agent. Okay. Then, then this IRCTC agent, what this will, this guy will do, do it will book ticket through IRCTC and it will give that ticket to this guy this guy okay see so now now when this guy reaches to this ircTC agent what this ircTC agent uh, will ask this guy will ask some uh, name gender name gender age age then is then uh, uh, from and to city the travel date travel date date etc along with with charges okay so now now this guy went to ircTC agent ircTC agent asked like i need this information to book ticket ticket Okay, so this guy has given those details to ICTC. Now, ICTC agent. Now, what ICTC agent will do? It will send a request. Request to ICTC. Ki, hey, ICTC, I have got this this information Mr. from one of the guy to book a ticket. Could you please uh, book a ticket uh, for for this guy? So, this. So this this guy, this ICTC agent, send one request to IRCTC to book the ticket along with this information. Okay. Now, once IRCTC received those requests, so IRCTC, what it will do, it will book ticket, it, it will book ticket and send it back to the agent. Now, the agent will give that ticket to this guy back. Okay. Okay. So this is what, so here, what exactly happened? Okay. Okay. First, this guy was in need of something. Okay. So, so, to get something he found like IRCTC has given one service. Okay. That is very convenient to me. So I should use that service. So that service is nothing but you uh, uh, exposed APIs. Okay. That service is nothing but exposed API in terms of API testing. Okay. Exposed APIs. So instead of directly going to IRCTC by using this API, this guy found it convenient. So this API, this guy went to IRCTC agent. It means this guy has used this API, this API to book the ticket. Now this API was was looking for some details. So these are these were the details. So these along with this this API, these details it sent to to. Uh, IRCTC in the form of request that is what API request this is what it is API request okay okay uh, okay so this is what it is like API request so now it goes the request goes goes 
through Expose API to IRCTC website. IRCTC website took these informations, took these informations and sent back that after booking the ticket, it sent back that to, to the client. Client means this uh, agent got and through that agent, you got the ticket. This guy got the ticket. So this is what the, the functionality of APIs. So some client will expose some API. So you will be using that API, API and those API need some information. So after providing those information, you are requesting something. So using those information, so they send the server. The server will send back the response. That response here, uh, uh, in what uh, form that response come? Response came in form of ticket. Ticket, okay. It came in form of ticket. So this is how it works. Now let's relate this with uh, our uh, architecture. Okay. So here, here is the client. Here is the guy. Okay. That guy wants to book one ticket. Okay. This guy wants to book one ticket at the bottom. Okay. So this guy, what it do, does. So this is like server. So here is server and IRCTC web, the website is available over here. Okay. So, so IRCTC has exposed some API and they told like, see, if you want to book ticket, you can use this API I had to book the ticket. But along with that, I need some information. So this is what the information is. So this client, it send request to the server, IRCTC server with these informations. Okay. And then IRCTC book the ticket and it send the response back to the client in the form of HTTP response. And that is what the result output is ticket. So this is what exactly what API is and how it works. Okay. So now, now let me tell you some other example in what way uh, uh, this exposed API helps. Okay. So nowadays you are, uh, you have observed like when you'll go to ATM, so you have ATM card of SBI. Now you can go to other bank ATM also and you can withdraw money. So how it is possible? Your money is in some other bank and you are getting it through some other bank's ATM. So I'll tell you how it works. Okay. So for that, uh, let me have a new copy of this. Hmm. So now, now you go, you have gone to, you have, I uh, means uh, SBI ATM. Okay. No, you have some SBI bank and SBI ATM. Okay. So this is SBI. This is SBI ATM. Okay. And uh, you have, this is like ICICI, ICICI ATM. So, so, and uh, you have uh, SBI card. So now you can withdraw money through SBI ATM also and through IRCTC, uh, this ICICI uh, ATM also. Now, how it is possible because your money is in SBI ATM and you are trying to withdraw it from uh, ICICI ATM and they are giving you money. Okay. So I'll tell you how it works. Okay. So see here, this is like uh, IRCT, I, ICICI bank. Okay. So let me write it ICICI bank. So now what this bank, so when you'll go using this API, when you'll go to this ATM, you will insert your ATM. Okay. So after inserting ATM, you will enter pin and amount. Okay. So those information, what this API, this uh, ATM will do, it will send one request to, to his bank. Okay. ICICI bank, like this is the ATM. This is like SBI ATM. Some guy is trying to withdraw this money. This, this is SBI bank card. Okay. So with this, and these are the like ATM password and all those things. So it goes. So now what this ICICI bank bank will do, it will reach to SBI server. Okay. SBI server, SBI bank. Okay. Just considered uh, bank. So after reaching to SBI bank, what it will tell ki, hey, some, some of your customer uh, is trying to withdraw some money, money from my, uh, from uh, my ATM. So could you please authenticate this guy and uh, check whether the, the requested amount is there in his uh, bank balance or not? Not. So, so see one bank to communicate this bank, there should be some means, right? So here, see here what SBI has done. He has exposed some API, APIs. Okay. 
some api was exposed by sbi some apis api is exposed by sbi so so what what is this api see sbi have exposed some api and they have told like every bank so if someone will come and try to withdraw money from your atm then you can send these details to me me you can communicate to me using this api whatever api i am sending and with this api i want these these informations okay so whatever after inserting card you have entered atm pin some amount and all those things so those information will go to icici bank and icici bank will use those exposed api by sbi and it will send those information to sbi bank now sbi bank will authenticate like this guy is genuine and you can send this uh, send the uh, like uh, approval so so sbi has given approval you can like uh, allow this guy to take money so so now sbi has given approval to this guy and now through this approval you will uh, yeah, your money will uh, this atm this particular atm will uh, disperse your amount whatever um, whatever amount you have requested okay so this is how it works so every bank okay not only sbi every bank is having some exposed api and they need some certain parameters using those parameters they'll validate the user and they'll tell like this guy is a genuine you can transfer money i can transfer from my account to your account whatever amount they will be withdrawing so so this this was like a mutual understanding between them but how it happened so one bank talking to other bank how they are talking they are talking through this exposed api okay so whatever ex, uh, api was exposed this is what this was exposed api and through this they have communicated it, it. so now again we can go here so see, see here is the client suppose here atm is there now you have sbi card you went to atm to icic atm and you inserted your card and you given some details now these details this uh, icic bank what it will do it will send to the server server to its like icici server okay now icici server will find like this guy is from sbi bank so so using those the provided details it will send some uh, use uh, send information to sbi bank using the exposed api what sbi bank has exposed and after that uh, it will get some response response uh, like this guy is genuine and you can send that money then that atm will disbursed your uh, amount okay this is how like this is what exactly api is and this is how it works so next uh, i'll be telling everything i'll show you like uh, how developers create apis okay, how api looks like what and all like uh, action you can perform so generally like uh, suppose i told about ircTC and uh, atm card you can tell like you have ui ui where you can uh, provide the details and then uh, these things will uh, automatically book the ticket but but uh, what happens when user when a company develops application first what they'll do they'll not concentrate on ui first they will try to build all the the modules like working the features like uh, booking ticket and all those things even though you don't have api you can test it through you don't have ui you can test those through apis okay so now how api looks like and other things i'll be explaining in next video uh, that's it for today thanks a lot thanks